Here's the Packard Bell 98C8 chassis combo unit. And you guys will remember this. I, I did a house call and I put a new cartridge in the turntable and lubricated the turntable and lubricated the pots in the tuner section and replaced the horizontal output tube and adjusted the cathode current and the owner of this would like it professionally refinished so I have been called upon to strip this down and I'm gonna pull the CRT chassis radio chassis amp turntable out and take this to a professional refinisher and I just got it home I thought this was kind of interesting phone number was VE95293 and this was the original owner right there of the set I'm also going to find out what's causing the balance issue why one channel, if I remember the right channel is extremely weak coming out of the tuner not the amp so uh, let's get going on it Okay, documentation time. Okay, black and red from this box. Go up to black and red there. I wrote it down. I noticed the uh, ferrite antenna for the AM is just laying in the bottom here, so that's something I gotta fix. Okay, this wire that connects right here goes to the amplifier. Let's twist it up in the. That's just, that's just nice. Uh, okay, this is the power to the amplifier. It plugs up into the bottom there. Okay, we got some plugs back there. another wire coming out of the, the back of this thing that comes over here to the TV and is plugged in here to the side of the TV chassis. To unknot that and feed that through. So we got a RCA plug in the bottom here that can come out. I don't even know what this I don't even know what that goes to. That's only a single RCA plug, but that looks like it. It's free. It looks like I did not need to unplug some of those up there. We got a, we got a couple more on top. We got the FM antenna, and we got this input right here, which plugs over into the TV. I can't see where it's going. And there's another one here, which comes down here, and the ground has a quarter inch screw holding it down, so I got to undo that. Okay, so here's the tuner. Model 8TU8. Oh, that single wire was just for a pilot lamp, so I gotta fix this. Looks like a quarter of it unwound, that shouldn't be a problem. You can see the holder for it is, is crumbling here. Put a tie wrap on it or something. Looks like I bumped that bulb loose. Well, that's just a 194 auto bulb, or it looks like it. Okay, from this box here, we have our input from the amp. Gray and white go to this speaker. Red and white go to the speaker on the other side. Here's the amp. It's got a few electrolytics in it, not too many. Got two big ones up top here. Trying to figure out how to get this record changer out. It's got these little clips. 
don't know if you can see it, but it looks like it squeezes or it pulls down and slides off. How does that come off? Oh, I see pop. Let me see if I can get those off. Okay, so the tuner and amp is out. The record changer's out. Next thing to do is to drop it out of here, lay it on its face, and get the uh, CRT and chassis out. Okay, that little four inch there, that's the uh, TV speaker. And here are the wires right here, and they connect those two tabs right there. So next I'm gonna pull the remote amp out and see what else I can do. This is really complicated at this point. Look at that, a vacuum tube remote control amp. This is essentially the same chassis as that set that I gave to Chris W71 that had the bad flyback. And uh, you can see someone's done some work in here with the, probably the doubler went open so they just stuck an 80 at 450 in there and you can see several of these power resistors have been replaced. Overall it looks, yeah, you know, it looks like there's an electrolytic someone put in. Overall it looks pretty clean. New CRT, too bad the front of it scratched up a little bit. Looks like a black matrix tube too. Check this tuner out. Instead of a dial indicator, it has uh, separate bulbs for each channel. 12 bulbs. And then this is the UHF. That's pretty unique. So here we go, we're all apart. We got this all hardwood and plywood handmade cabinet. It's just beautiful, not one piece of particle board or press board or any of that modern crap in this. And we got a all metal point-to-point -point hand wired chassis and a really nice convergence assembly and a, even a convergence assembly is on a metal thing like Zenith and it's all point-to-point -point. and then we got this cheap plastic junk look at this cheap plastic uh, bezel. Why? Let's have a little bit of a look at the finish here so we can compare. Pretty crappy. It's kind of stripping off. He said he had a puppy at one time and the puppy kind of malulated the corners. Corners a little bit screwed up. We got some Overall, it's really not bad. We get some water stains on top. Finish is coming off there. It's pretty rough. scuffage there on that. Some more puppy experience. So I have to do a little bit of an A and B comparison and see how it comes out. Okay, let's get a check the CRT on this Packard Bell here and see if it's as new as it looks or what we got. It's 
pretty healthy. Let's go down to 5 volts. Hmm. Blue kind of goes away at 5 volts. Red and green look tip top shape though. That's kind of bizarre. Hmm. 